Hey guys, welcome to season 12, episode 6 of Criminal Minds. Here we go. You see, I go under here, and I kind of hook it so I get back to this. You should have been home an hour ago. Now mom's sitting there with dad waiting on you. 19. Did you forget dad was coming? 1900s. 19 something. Well, I can't. The glare on this freaking screen's killing me right now. Is Shelly with him? No, she's not. You know she's gonna show up at some point. She says mean things about mom. It's too dark. I know. Ollie! Ollie, where are you? I'm over here! Oh, he's hurt. Who's hurt? Watch his little leg. Ah, oh, shit. I said quit it. And the Oxen Hill Maniac kept the twins chained up for days. He needed to fatten them up before he ate them. Well, I thought the older brother killed them. Oh, that freaked Jimmy Ridley. Tonight, solve the mystery. Mom's were at my house for pancakes in the morning. Okay, PK, serious question. Why pancakes. are you always eating? Pancakes? Bruh. It's not for acting long. Why does everyone eat pancakes? Not her brother anymore? Nobody, Nobody has taste. Nobody has flair. It's always pancakes. Good all night. Bunch of boring ass people in this world, I swear. I'm, dead I'm so There's no way. So the titling this episode into one the one corn. Sounding. I know, I know, but I was there, okay? <laughs> and I'm telling you, it was crazy. Thank God you guys are here. What do you know? We need to talk. Oh shit. About? It's Hodge. Oh my god, is he okay? He's okay. But he has not been away on special assault. Hodge saw Peter Lewis watching one of Jack's soccer games. By the time Hodge reacted, Lewis had taken off. The Bureau searched the area, but he disappeared. When was this? Days after Mr. Scratch resurfaced in Arizona. Why didn't he tell us? We could have focused on finding Mr. Scratch. He knows we can't drop everything. Also, he didn't want to worry everyone. So now what? They have around the clock surveillance. But when we were all in LA on the John David Bates case, Scratch surfaced again. This time at Jack's school. Going after Jack takes us to a whole new level. Peter Lewis is not going to stop, which is why Hotch and Jack have now entered the program. But now that this happened, we, we, we can drop everything and focus on, on catching Mr. Scratch, and then Hotch can come back, right? He went away believing that could happen. But things have changed. He's now decided that he can't put himself and Jack in danger again. Bruh. He just sent in his resignation. Bruh. I he know. still got fired. This is a lot to process. I mean, yeah. He, he's a great dad. Dude. And, and this is he so got fired. I know how much tragedy he's had. He's had enough tragedy. But as his friends, we have to support his decision. Bruh. The only way for Hodge to guarantee Jack's safety is if they both stay off the grid. And one more thing. Hodge spoke to the director as to who should replace him. Oh, I, Princess. Don't worry. It won't be me. You know I'm allergic to paperwork. <laughs> She's standing right there. That Emily Prentice becomes the BAU's new unit chief. Yeah! <laughs> I still miss Hodge. I just heard about all of this myself a few minutes ago. Congratulations, Emily. Thank you guys, but I haven't exactly signed on yet. Everyone knows you have a lot to consider, but the brass needs an answer by tomorrow. Understood. I hate to interrupt the bad news, good news, bad news, bad news, but we've got three missing kids in Delaware. We're still holding his freaking camera? Some Resident Evil vibes. Oh, I'm getting Resident Evil vibes. It's a lot to 
process before my first cut. Thank you. I can't believe he's been dealing with this for weeks and we never knew. That part actually doesn't surprise me. He's always kept things to himself. I guess it was just his way of protecting us. What was that? Do anything to keep him safe. I know. Okay, my brain's a little wonky from that intel earlier today. Is that just me? No, good. Not good, but you know. Anyway, if you don't follow along, what you call it? Tablets. Uh, There's a random card. Teenage in my driveway. Clay Delaware boys are oh. Bones Jarvis, Josh Harmon, and PK Riggins. You say Bones? Yeah, coolest name ever, huh? Technically, it's William, but the police chief says everyone calls him Bones. 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 You only call bones bones. You don't call anybody else bones. It's just bones. Bones. From bones. From bones. Garcia, you should locate some of those properties. Maybe the boys are looking for inspiration. Also check in any history of criminal activity focusing on crimes against children. Okay, but for the record, I prefer getting spooked in research on ghost stories. We all know the stats. If we don't find these I want your baby back, baby back, baby back. I want your baby can't let baby back. Uh, I gotta tell you, it's a quiet place. You know, it looks like we're just a few miles from the old Oxen Hill Mental Asylum. Well, no, that place burned down in 1956. Ghosts are long gone. Uh, there's a Walmart there now. Let me ask you this. Do you think it's possible the boys were following the legend of what happened to all the inmates? Uh, the last time anything like this happened was back in 1983. That's when the Henson twins went missing. How'd that turn out? We found some clothes. There were traces of blood. Um, we never found the bodies. How old were they when they disappeared? See, I thought it said 38. I got the things mixed up. I was like, there's no way that was that long ago. That doesn't look like 38. <laughs> but two children were abducted back then, three now in the same town. It's too similar to dismiss. Well, the question is, if it is the same offender, would he be strong enough to- Honestly, he's old as hell. Boys? Maybe as hell. He just had a gross spurt, so I just thought he was hungry. My first guess was they lost track of time and got into making a movie, but you know, after we all talked and found their cell phones, we knew that wasn't happening. Can we see their movies? That's their latest one. Gonna be some kind of alien invasion when they're done with the effects. Aliens are among us. Be careful. We don't enter your body. Oh, God. Oh, no. At least they're creative. They're kids. Who's this guy at the end with the blue truck? Yeah, they Ridley. He's been around forever. They filmed him a couple times. And you think he has something to do with it? It's possible. So, um, how are you holding up? Well, uh, you know how I am with change? Yeah, that's why I ask. It's a lot of change. Are you trying to... Think of the last thing I said to him, and I can't remember. Yes, sir. But I don't know. I hope it was more clever and kind, and I keep thinking, is that what we're supposed to learn from this? Like, every time you get off the phone with someone, you should say something clever and connective. Is that what I'm supposed to learn? Because, because you don't know if it's the last thing you're ever going to be able to say to them. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, how did a guy... And exhausting. How did a guy who was here for 11 seasons get fired? There's no way. Unless something tragic happened. I don't I don't know anything about the actor. I think I know his name. That doesn't work for me, sir. I'm sorry, but you know, I cross-check and I figure it out quickly. That's my thing. I know. It's gonna get better. Did he get fired? Of course it does. Because it should. And right now you're thinking it's never going to get better. And that this is your new normal. Eleven. But you'll adapt. We all will. Seasons. Trust me, kiddo. And he's gone. I've been here before. Just like that. Thanks. No send off. I know you could have found out the locals about Jimmy Ridley. I appreciate you checking up on me. And uh, we searched this whole area until winter. You know, blizzard's the only thing that could stop the diehards from looking this town can't afford another heartbreak. What's Jeez. going on? There are three missing kids. We don't want any trouble. Is this the guy? You need a ride home? Is that the guy who was riding the bike? No, sir. I do not need a ride home. I, I've been getting plenty of exercise since you took away my license. What do you guys say? Yeah. Yeah. You were with your siblings that night. Sure was. 
Could we possibly ask you a few questions? Nope. I'm done talking. Johnny and Allie are gone? I was gonna change that. No. Rumors flew. People accused Dealey of killing him. He became an outcast, dropped out of school, started drinking to cover up the guilt. Surprised he's still standing. This was the boys last night. That, yeah, that is impressive. The cornfield picked it up. If they were moving in that direction, it's hard to say, but about two minutes later, this pickup truck drove by. That's Jimmy Ridley. He's in a film the kids were making. It's his story. A hermit, mostly. Has a few run-ins now and then. Run-ins with... I to find out what he was doing on that road last night. I mean, the thing we saw kind of looked like something out of American Horror Story, so... Josh, get up. Come on. Oh, they're still alive. Whoa. FBI, open up. That's the house. Ain't no way. Guys? <laughs> What? This is too quick. <laughs> what? Aren't the kids in the basement? He's been stalking these kids. Shows a lot of patience. There are old photos of the Henson twins, too. He could be involved in the first abduction. It would have been 15 when the Henson twins disappeared the same exact age as their brother, Dealey. I wonder if the two of them were friends back then. You think that brother's ever going to talk to us? I don't know. I thought of a mess. Oh, God. Where are they? Why do you have pictures of these kids? Since Coop don't do nothing about it, we have to prove it ourselves. What about the Jarvis boy's helmet? Why was that inside your house? He left it there. When? When was this? Last night. I'm sorry, Jimmy. I need you to walk me through this. Because I want to help you. Those boys, they, they were on your property, but no one came inside your house. I shot up a rock. <laughs> I scared him so bad. His hat fell off. Not. It's been 18 hours since those boys disappeared. Where the hell are they? Sounds like they're whispering. There's only one guy who's talking to them, so your parents weren't here. You guys are missing the whole point. Who the hell is that thing? I think it was a ghost. You said it was so skinny and pale. It wasn't a ghost. I wish we never would have found this. It's like a vampire. But we did, and we gotta get the hell out of here. A few years ago, their older brother, Dealey, was with him that night. Yeah, we met him on the roadside. According to Coop, he lives across town, and he went out of his way to find us on Route 7. Oh. Sounds like he's trying to insert himself into our investigation. Mm -hmm. Except when we asked him to talk, he refused. Maybe it's time to give it another try. You want to take a ride? Sure. Maybe he doesn't want to talk to the sheriff. If Jimmy Ridley isn't on one side, we're back to one. That's a lot of circumstantial evidence against Jimmy Ridley, but I want to go over to that. I was actually wondering what you're thinking about staying. Right. Well. You have to stay. Stop more doing pros this shit. and cons. Yes, a lot I of. I love this group and the job, but. But you've got a life back in London. Screw London, God. Yeah. Doesn't it just London. rain there all the time? We had the chance. We jumped on the jet. Hey, you. I hope I didn't wake you. London's basically Seattle. Mr. Henson? Or, no, I was Seattle. earlier. My name is Dr. Spencer Reed. This is SSA Luke Alves. Damn. Recycling? How much have you had to drink today? The whole can. Hey, man, in my own house, why does that matter? I'm just thinking now's not a great time to talk, given you may not be yourself. 
What do you want to know? Tell us about 1983. What the hell does that matter now? Might help us figure out who took those kids last night. It wasn't me. Never said I heard him. But it was my fault that they were gone. You know what that does for a kid? It does this. We cut through the corn and past the Ridley farm. But I found him that night at Elliot's Pond. I told Coop that back then. Elliot's Pond? They dragged it. You never found him. And it froze over that winter. Wait, so they never found the bodies? Thank you. Wait, is that what they just said? He just said? You sure you have? I, whoa, 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 whoa. Reverse. That's the quietest car ride you've ever had. I can't stop thinking about that guy. You know, I don't know what I would have done if I was him. All that guilt. How do you deal with that? Look at this. This can't be good. Are we gonna fit through it? There's no possible way you fit through there. Ah, oh, you might. I don't know about your head. Oh, your head's boy. the biggest question. <laughs> Someone's gonna jump up. I knew it. Shit. So if you guys want to go over to the sort of white lake area, can I help? I don't know. Are you uh, in any condition to do that? I switched to coffee. Old man Clemens used to have hunting traps out here. Who's he? Geezer got himself off the grid a long time ago. Survivalist type. Oh, God. Ah. Oh, ah. This is fresh bait. Someone said this recently. Somebody tried to fire some tranquilizer darts and missed. Oh, God. I'm so confused what's going on here. There's clearly a lot of people here. This Clements guy used to hunt out here, and someone's still using his traps. Apache and Garcia. My, uh, one of my dogs, greatest dog. I've ever what do you had. have on a local man named Reginald Clements? She's been in videos Reginald before. Clements. Mm. Uh, we found her he in a bear trap. Appears to be, I think the words for it are Out off in the woods. his locker. A lot of bats in the belfry. B a n a n a s. I am going to send you what I find as I find it. But this Reginald has quite the past. He did time at that mental hospital that burned down. But he was there before the fire. For what? And, you know, I'm all for solar panels and making your own kombucha, but this guy took it to the extreme. And when he was 18, he got in trouble for abduction of a minor. And get this, his defense was loneliness. He and he had been strong enough to hold the boys and set hunting Three traps. Three boys and hunting oh, sure. traps? No. What are you thinking, Luke? I'm thinking the next logical step. He's had them this whole time. How would he maintain control, especially once they were strong enough to escape? He's well, already he, got them isolated. Yeah, and, and he raises them great. that way. Uh, he believes that the world is coming to an end. He could have convinced them of his own delusions. So one paranoid survivalist spread two more. And if the Henson twins have taken our three boys, who knows what they're going to do with them? Yeah, there might be, like, a whole family here. Holy shit. Tranquilizer darts. I mean, they could have been dope. Insanely alarming. 
couldn't be too far from where PK's bag was. The boys are looking for a This is clear cut mental hospital. Like, no question. I don't even think I'm going to sentence them. They need help. That's my sentence. Put them in a hospital. I don't know how long. I don't know if they'll ever get out again, but, like, that's that's all I got. We fix it, Mr. Tell them we need help. Lights down. What? I promise you won't hurt us. Oh, I promise. I promise. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Oh my God. You guys okay? You guys okay? Let's go, let's get you out of here. Let's go. Come on. Where's the other guy? Where's the guy? Both of them? You okay? Yeah, I'm just glad we found those kids. Oh, yeah. I assume the guy who took them but, uh, is dead. I was talking about that other thing. I haven't had a chance to talk to you guys. What do you think? Well, I, I talked to Mark, and he's going to be here next week for a visit. Well, that's a good start, but they need an answer in the morning, right? I know. Here's the truth. If, if you don't take the position, they're going to bring in some stranger to be the unit chief, and I, I don't know how that'll turn out, but the learning curve could be brutal. Probably stink for us, but <laughs> I'm going to stay. Oh, thank God. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. I love being here. And I God, I lost someone amazing and got someone amazing. Honestly, you know Actually, I lost two amazing and got, got one amazing, so I'm kind of uneven right now. Can we bring we back, like, fuck! Surprise! Oh, Say it like that, fast. Jesus. Oh, good news, Taz. I'm so happy you're here. We all are. Can we're we bring back, soon. like, Big shoes, Kate. Phil. Well, I'm not worried. Besides, you'd never let us all down. Or... <laughs> oh, great. No pressure. But let me just say something to everyone. I, um, I think she's the only one that actually could come back. I've been in and out of here since 19. Most of this team has been together for over a decade. But yeah. I promise you, that doesn't happen often. Now, I've heard the rumblings about how lucky we are, and it's true. But the truth is, it's what happens when we're not on the case to Aaron and Jack. I don't know who's luckier, but it warms my heart to know that they'll be together every day. And say, Thank you for being a friend. And to Emily. And Morgan. Our friend. And new unit and chief. Alex. Welcome home. Kate. Yes. Get in. So long as the memory of certain beloved friends lives in my heart, 
I shall say that life is good. Helen Keller. This episode just confirmed what I feared. Hotch is gone, gone. Which means, and what I believe, is he has been fired from the show. Or, and I hope it was fired and nothing like incredibly personal, like the actor got hurt or something. I feel like they would do so, I don't know, maybe not. But like, and I would never wish pain upon anybody, no matter what they do. Okay. There's very, 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 very few instances where I would wish pain upon somebody. But most situations, you don't wish pain upon people. So, like, if he did something terrible, I probably wouldn't, unless he, like, murdered somebody. <laughs> um, but I highly doubt that he did that. I don't know what he did. I kind of care that I don't normally care when actors get fired or whatever and what they do. I don't really want to know and I don't really care, but this I actually kind of might want to know if he actually did get fired because or what happened to him because it was such an abrupt leaving. Um, you know, it was out of nowhere. It was unplanned. He was there and then it was gone, which makes me think it was a firing, but Which I can't believe if he got fired. 11 seasons and two episodes and he got fired? Like, that's why part of me is like, did he, did he get fired or did something else happen? Like, is he okay? Or like, cause that's crazy. And he might have had to do something. 11 seasons. A whole decade of his life. Maybe things can, uh, if he got fired, maybe things can be worked out and he can return. I've never seen that happen before. I don't think. I don't think I've ever seen an actor get fired from a TV show and come back to the TV show in a later time that I can remember. I also don't think people get fired often from TV shows. I can't think of somebody, but that just sucks. It really does. Just as a character standpoint, you know? I mean, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna sit here and say it sucks because I don't know what happened or what he did or if he did something bad or if he did something I don't agree with or maybe he did something I do agree with and he got fired for a stupid reason. I don't know. Like, I don't know why he's gone, but I'm sad and disappointed because of the character who I absolutely loved, who I absolutely enjoyed, and who I... This show won't be the same without. And it's going to be the same with him. It's going to be the same with Morgan. It was the same with Gideon. You know, there are characters that come on to shows, they make a big impact, and losing them is drastic. And I would say those three characters are up there. Those are the three so far throughout this entire show that have been incredibly impactful when they leave. Uh, Prentice. You could throw her up there, but now she's back. So, <laughs> uh, she kind of comes off that list. Uh, cause if, if you return, yes, your leaving was impactful, but if you come back, all right, all is forgiven. You know, all is, the impact goes down. Uh, because right now we're at three characters who we have no idea if they're going to come back. We have, well, one of them is not coming back because he's dead. Uh, and then the other two, they're gone. So right now it's, will they ever come back? Will we ever see them again? They're gone. And they're three huge characters who had three huge relationships with so many other characters on this show and drove so many great storylines, so many great interactions, and they're gone. As a writer, as a creator, as someone who loves the storytelling aspect of all sorts of things, that hurts. It hurts. As a fan, I am broken. 
The show must go on. There are still stories to tell. There are th still things happening. Like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you have not already. I will see y'all next time.